Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Adil Jawad. I'm a consultant psychiatrist working with the crisis team in Northwest Sussex and also the clinical lead for acute services there. I am a BME role model. I think this is an opportunity for, for me to actually help people who, who, are, who are feeling a bit isolated working in a big organization and um, may not know um, who to ask for advice or who to look, look uh, for support or who to look up to. So actually, I work in a place called Crawley, which has got 30% ethnic minority population. And there are about 50 different languages spoken there. Um, so we see a lot of, lot of patients who actually are from these backgrounds who find it very difficult to access and relate to people or have difficulty talking about their mental health issues. One of the reasons being stigma. Um, and um, a specific example, if I can relate, um, is about a Spanish a lady who spoke Spanish, was on her own with two young kids, diagnosed with psychosis. Psychosis is a major, major mental um, illness. And she was reluctant to access any medical or psychiatric help uh, and wanted to go to for treatment to a faith healer in London. Now, because she had young children and she was psychotic, thinking that she was possessed by a devil, the usual option would have been to assess her under the Mental Health Act, detain her to hospital, put her children care, into care. We went there with an interpreter and we explained to her in a language she understood or in a very sensitively, culturally sensitive manner. The long and short of it is, I told her that I wasn't afraid of the devil and I could get rid of it if she trusted me and did what I said. And that message basically got through to her. She agreed to take medications and she also agreed for a hospital admission into a mother and baby unit where we admitted her with the baby and she was fine after four weeks. So the, this example is so powerful um, that uh, University College London came to assess the crisis teams. They were doing that as a national project and they found this, um, they asked me to actually send it to them because most crisis teams find it very difficult to explain illnesses and treatments in culturally understandable language throughout the country. And the report I sent to them is now on their website for other 350 crisis teams in the country to learn from. Isn't that fantastic?